I got too much in my mind for me not to use my time wisely I think that my eyes, my future always makes my eyes bleed It's too bright, use my best and shit Tell me I'm better What's good? It's your boy Binks and y'all are the family Together we are the Binks family Welcome back to another reaction video do you guys feel uncomfortable when I stare at you like this? I don't want you to feel like too uncomfortable and stuff, you feel me? I want you to stay watching the video. It's not awkward unless you make it awkward. Anyway, like I said, we're doing another reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to Mother Freaking Call of Duty Zombies. That is gonna also lead me to say that I'm actually gonna start making a gaming channel and or adding gaming videos to this channel. I feel like I'm probably gonna try to be a little bit different with my gaming videos because everybody's a gamer nowadays. So I wanna do something that's gonna put me outside the crowd. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all support me on everything and I appreciate that. So, but we're basically just gonna react to probably two videos in here. We got the actual Black Ops reveal trailer for the zombies. Plus we also have Call of Duty Black Ops uh, Cold War zombies first look i'm a call of duty fiend you guys don't even know bro but without further ado let's get into the first look of this call of duty zombies trailer let's go let's see what's going on man oh this gonna be fire bro zombies who could have guessed that when the undead first appeared in call of duty world of war it would lead us here to today from that moment zombies sparked the love for fighting the undead bringing its unique DNA to the Call of Duty experience. For sure, for sure. Whether you're playing solo or co-op, working to solve puzzles or unlock Easter eggs, facing wave after wave of the undead delivers fast, fun action with just one objective, survive. Yo. Black Ops Cold War sets the stage for a new zombies experience that not only celebrates our entire zombies heritage, but uses it as an inspiration to build a completely new chapter in our universe. Oh, Today, that's hard. cover the characters, backstory and weapons with members of the development team some of whom have quite literally helped to build it one zombie at a time but first let's check out the worldwide premiere of our new zombies gameplay trailer let's go bro let's go so wait i think we're gonna actually watch the trailer in here so we might not even have to watch the other video bro this is gonna be freaking fire bro they're talking about they're gonna change up the storyline a little bit with this joint and then they said it's gonna change the experience too so i wonder what like new like uh, mechanics inside of their system that like, is going you know what I'm saying? How it's going to change the world and stuff like that. And I be, I can't wait for the Easter eggs too, bro. I used to do all the Easter eggs, all the secret things, trying to do all the... Bruh. Yeah. What have you done? Did you get the package? Sam? Watch it. Watch the tape. What the hell is that? Is that Sam? So is that Samantha? Yeah. It's happening again. Requiem actual strike team is on the ground. Oh, this is gonna be fire, Sam. Roger. Moving. Bro, you supposed to train the zombie. Don't just sit and don't just sit and shoot. It, if you guys see the eyes of the zombies are yellow. If you guys don't really play Call of Duty, you basically get to tell like what person is kind of controlling the zombies. That's kind of controlling the zombie apocalypse right now by the color of their eyes. They used to be there'll be a yellow colored eyes, there'll be the blue colored eyes, and there'll also be the red colored eyes. There's three different people that control the zombies in the storyline. And right now they have yellow eyes, so I'm pretty sure that's Samantha controlling these zombies or something like that. That's as far as I picked up from the storyline. I've been playing Call of Duty for like like five, six years. Eight years, probably. Let's go! Got the barbed wire on them. Oh, I can't wait for the new special guns too. The ray guns, the mark the mark twos and all. Blunder Gats. That looks like a Blunder Gat or something like that. Acid Gat. Or Ray Gun. Yo, this gonna be so lit, bruh. Mystery Box, what gun is that? Is that the Thunder Gun? Is that like the new updated Thunder Gun or something? Yo, bro, my fool. I'm like nerding out right now, bro. I'll be, bro, Call of Duty here. Just lit, bro. I love this. Bro, I love this. What is that? 
Now that's like some new posts. I right, forgot new zombie dogs. Zombies look good too. Okay, we changed it up. We have a score streets. Okay, we still can pack a punch our weapons. I don't know what perk that was, but. Then we get special zombies. November 13th, bruh. My birthday's on November 17th, if you guys don't know, bruh. I gotta get that. I gotta get that, bruh. And I wanna buy the PlayStation 5, so I don't... I think you have to buy a special edition of Call of Duty if you wanna get it on your personal system right now. And then also you wanna get it on the next gen. So there's like a special like one you have to buy. So I think I'm gonna have to buy that joint, bruh. And I know I probably missed a lot of things in here that you guys are probably going to be like, slow down, slow down the video. We ain't going to be deciphering this zombies trailer. We're just kind of watching it. Juggernaut. Juggernaut. You can't kill me. After so many journeys, so many chapters, with Black Ops Cold War, we start them fresh, embarking on a completely different story within our universe. We've got a new story led by different characters. We've got new ways to play, anchored by new ways of progressing. We've got a different time period. Cold War Zombies wasn't just our opportunity to open up a different chapter. It was our opportunity to elevate the entire Zombies experience. It's a chapter we call The Machine. The Machine. As we set out to build something completely new, we were inspired to pay homage to Zombies and Zombies to celebrate our origin with one of our most familiar and signature locations, Nachter on Toten. Nachter on Toten? Oh, we doing the Nachter on Toten? Bro, you guys don't even... Man, if you guys don't know about Call of Duty, I probably sound so retarded right now, but bro, we got the Nachter on Toten in that bit, bro. The glitches I used to do in that motherfucker. But besides that, the gameplay would just be lit. It's so small and compact that you can't really run nowhere, so high rounds is kind of getting difficult. What's your highest zombie round? Let me know. We finished a story, but we're still in that same universe. Yeah, and sure. this is the next chapter. The, the very end of Black Ops 4, our characters sacrifice themselves to collapse the multiverse and try and create a singular world where zombies didn't exist. And they were half right. This is a Cold War story, and it'll be driven by a diverse group of organizations and characters. Players are part of Requiem. A CIA-backed international response team led by Weaver. Okay. The Russian Weaver. American will be familiar to Black Ops fans. By the time you arrive on the hunt for answers, the Machina will have been ravaged by time. On the surface, you'll see a boarded up bunker. But below the surface lies a nefarious set of decades. So I don't know if D Machina is that is that like a map that they're creating, or is that just like the new name for like the zombies or whatever? Like like the way that they're ran. Or something like is there a machine that's controlling the zombies or i don't know i gotta see what's going on it's primed to upset the global order the players will find themselves at odds with a team of soviet-led rivals known as omega group who are just as interested in studying and harnessing the power of the unexplained anomalies manifesting around the globe beyond these two warring groups they'll encounter characters with unknown agendas who operate in the graphics field, look good delivering insights and intel on this new world's fiction. The intel you receive and recover is a huge component of our storytelling in Cold War. And for the first time, an innovative new intel system will make content accessible on demand anytime. There's a lot to uncover that no one's ever seen before. Oh, that's gonna be fire. Let's get into the gameplay. Yeah, the gameplay, that gameplay is really what it is, bro. When I play games, bro, I usually only play, like, multiplayer, like, like the really fast-paced stuff. I don't really be playing story modes like that. So if you were finna ask me something about, like, the story mode of Call of Duty, I would've got lost, like, way long ago. You know what I'm saying? I just play, like, multiplayer specifically, and then, like, zombies, or, like, the special mode that they have. That starts with delivering all your favorite elements. Relentless round-based action, the pack-a-punch machine. Power up drops, yep. the mystery box, along with the return of some of our classic speed cooler. We've also taken a fresh eye to the core gameplay loop yes, to let sir. you drop in and have fun faster than ever. The gameplay is classic, but it's going to be totally quite fresh. You'll find our updates this year 
are focused on one thing above all, embracing what makes zombies so much fun. That starts with progression. This year, we've unified progression and loadouts across all of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. That means wherever you play across multiplayer zombies, your global rank and weapons level stays connected. Here we'll be unlocking weapons and equipment. Bro, that's what I be loving about the zombies, bro. Like, you unlock stuff. Like, they started doing that... Uh, not not super recently, but they matter of fact, no, they they've been they've been doing that like level up and stuff like that. Cause I remember uh in like Black Ops Two, I used to definitely like used to level up a lot. Like used to have like an emblem that would change as you get better, like a better like kind of KD or like higher rounds you last. My fault, my camera just died. But we right back at it, finishing this trailer up. That will be usable across the entirety of the game. No more starting with a pistol. Bring in your AR, your SMG. Let's go. Man, started with the pistol used to be so trash, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. But, I mean, it's a good, easy way to rack up points without killing the zombies faster. Because the pistol is only one shot at a time. So, you know, it was decent, you know, to get the points up in the beginning. But it would be annoying trying to buy a gun off the wall that's really crap. And then having to get rid of that one mad quick. All weapons boasting reality with power levels. You can continue to increase your gun's damage potential however you choose. Oh, that's Every tough. gun is a path to become an uber weapon. Let's go. Lethal, tactical, and support slot. Not only can you craft, pick up, or find equipment and support in zombies, but you can now use them in combination, which delivers some insanely fun moments. Traditionally in zombies, the only way out was death. A new exfil system solves this. Things get tense and the squad is in trouble. You have the option to exfil to a chopper and earn some rewards. But only if you can survive a few more rounds of zombie spawns. That's so, so basically, they're trying to say that... Because usually, you know, when you play zombies, the only way that you get out the game is to die. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to die. But they're trying to say that you are able to actually kind of cop out real quick. You feel me? Call a helicopter. You can survive a few more rounds. Helicopter will get there. And then you can actually dip off without having to, like, mess up your kill-death ratio. And what I was saying, I'm pretty sure before, was that um, you basically get rankings in Call of Duty zombies. Like, I remember there was, like, different tiers. Like, it would start off with a skull. And then... After, like, you, like, kill enough zombies and do don't die much, then you get a skull with a knife. And then you get, like, a skull with, like, two knives. And then you get, like, a skull with a shotgun on the side of it. And then, like, the eyes start glowing. Like, there was, like, different, like, levels to it. And they used to make it so fun. This looks pretty dope. This is shaping up to be our most epic zombies experience ever. Monkey bombs! For the first time, post-launch content is going to be free. As new maps come out, everyone's going to be able to come along for the journey as we take them through this storyline. Lastly, canon is canon. And we've put a story to rest. But as you comb through this new universe, don't be surprised if some things don't want to stay dead. Okay. This is the most connected and robust zombies experience in history. It also delivers a first so for fun. zombies, so fully cross-play experience with progression systems that tie zombies to the battle pass. We're dropping free post-launch zombies content to the community for the first time as well. We're honored to have you with us on this journey. We're glad that you could join us for today's first look. Let's go. So they're going to get us some free content too. I usually buy every DLC that like comes out as well. So, I mean... If they're going to get something for free, I don't mind not spending money. But I'm about to DLCs anyway, just so you know that. Like, Oh, that's hard. November tw November 13th for open beta, early access, October 8th. So there's going to be another beta open. Like, I actually played the alpha for multiplayer, but now there's going to be a beta. And is that is it going to be a zombies beta or what kind of beta is this? Open beta, early access begins October, October 8th, pre-order digital. I wonder if the beta is going to be multiplayer or is it going to be zombies too? I don't know. But hopefully it's more freaking zombies because that's really what I'm hyped for. But hey man, what y'all think about this more freaking game trailer, bro? I know Black Ops always comes clutch, bro. It gives me some of my best memories growing up. So I'm just glad to see that they're back and they're still trying to improve things for Call of Duty. They ain't going to be like remaking the same Call of Duty as some other Call of Duties did. Like I said, I'm going to be making gaming content. So this video was not just random. Like I just wanted to react to a random gaming video. I am going to start making gaming content. Everybody make sure you guys look out for that we're gonna be turned up everybody that is joining the binks family we got a lot of new stuff coming and a lot of the old stuff we have is still lit i appreciate all you guys joining the binks family and believing in us you guys can go check out the community tab like i said that you guys could go see other things that i like to post other little updates and everything like that so you know what's coming but all my social media is gonna be on the screen right here if you guys want to follow me on that stuff request anything for me to react to 
But without further ado, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you in the next video.